Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO module. Today we'll be continuing the foreign exchange, which uh, we have done halfway in the last training session. In the last session, we have done the basic configuration steps, which will enable you to process the foreign transactions into the SAP system. But if you want to value the gain or loss due to the foreign exchange fluctuations to the organization for that we need to understand foreign exchange valuation so today we'll be doing the foreign exchange valuation which is also known as foreign exchange revaluation it's a process to account for the loss or gain in the foreign currency to evaluate foreign currency balance sheet accounts for which you must define certain accounts and revenue and losses accounts for the exchange rate differences from from the valuation period end process so period end refers to that the foreign exchange revaluation is always made at the end of the period that is the last day of the month so revaluation is a process which is typically run periodically to account for the loss or gain in foreign currency if there is a transaction in foreign currency and it would have gained some value due to the economic differences or maybe there could be a loss due to due to the change in the valuation or in the value of the exchange rate this could cause a loss or a gain in the income statement to that particular organization for balance sheet account and reporting purposes also this is very important so as to reflect the correct profit or loss for the particular income statement part to evaluate your foreign currency balance sheet so to record the profit and loss on gain of foreign exchange we have to do certain configuration steps which are as under on your screen first is to define the valuation method then defining valuation areas defining accounting principles assignment of accounting principles to ledger group assign valuation areas and accounting principles then creating the gl account for foreign exchange that is loss on sale sorry loss on foreign exchange and gain on foreign exchange and then the last step is to prepare automatic postings for foreign currency valuation so we'll move to this one by one first we'll be moving up to the valuation method so the valuation method is to evaluate the foreign currencies you need to at least have one valuation method with the valuation method you will define how to handle the foreign currency valuation methods and the exchange rate types which we are going to use in the organization in a high level valuation method you will hold various parameters for the foreign currency valuations so from organization to organization the kind of their business and the involvement in the foreign currency the valuation methods are very very critical like for financial institutions or banks it's uh, the valuation method or the foreign currency is a very important factor as they have to deal with the value with the valuation methods on a day to day basis so let's move and check with the valuation method in the sap system the menu path is on the screen as we can see the img screen to the financial accounting new and then the general ledger accounting new to periodic processing and then evaluate and define valuation methods so let's move to the sap system so we can execute the spro enter now we need to go to the sap reference img click on it 
we need to go to financial accounting new expand then moving to the financial accounting global setting sorry we need to go to the financial accounting new and then general ledger accounting and in general ledger we need to go to the periodic processing so that is here periodic processing expand then we need to go to evaluate and then I have to expand it and here you can find the define valuation method so this is the first step for foreign exchange revaluation so executing to this step so now we'll be defining the valuation method so to define the valuation method we need to go to the new entries and in that we can create our own valuation method so to create the valuation method we need to give a four character key to this so let's take it as 1200 the same as with the company code we need to assign to the third part that is always evaluate then we need to assign to the document type the document type to be taken is SA and the exchange rate type for debit balance and for credit balance will be M that is the average rate and exchange rate type from account balance so this is what we have taken and this is what you need to assign and over here we can define the description valuation of exchange rate type M so this is what we need to do once we have assigned the always define over here then the tran document type SA exchange rate type for debit balance and for credit balance will be M and the have to select this option over here as determine exchange rate type from account balance now we can move and we can save this screen so that to define the valuation method now we can continue to it and our valuation method has been defined successfully so once we have defined the valuation method now we'll move to the next configuration step that is the valuation area so to define the valuation area we need to go to the path so moving on to the path we need to go back on the screen once more so we are on the path now we have defined the valuation method just in the last step and now we'll be defining the valuation areas so valuation area is applicable for legal reporting of the financial statement as per different accounting principles like US GAAP or IFRS in such cases we have to create valuation areas so as to evaluate the foreign currency and customer and vendor balances so we'll be executing this now so you can see over here there are certain values and methods already defined on the screen so we'll be taking the one for ourselves so we can create that with the new entries so we can move on to the new entries and the valuation you can put as so you can take a two digit valuation not more than two so two digit I would be taking is ZZ and then I would be taking the valuation demo sorry the valuation method so the valuation method I can select over here is suppose 1200 that is the same which we have defined just in the last step so in the last step is the valuation method we have defined 1200 the same has to be assigned over here and then we need to go to the currency type so in the currency type we need to select the company code currency always once we have selected these three things we need to go and save the screen and the valuation area is defined for the company code so you can see the data was saved so your valuation area has been defined in the system now that is it
on the screen. So moving back to the path. Now we can move to the next configuration step that is define accounting principles. So for accounting principles basically are the different accounting principles and you can assign accounting principles as per requirement. So for that we need to create the accounting principles like IFRS or US GAAP if any of them are there or if you have more than one accounting principles then you need to define more of them in the system. So moving to the SPRO path so as to define the accounting principles the path is as in your screen. So moving to the path we need to go to financial accounting global setting then we need to go to ledgers and parallel accounting. So ledgers then parallel accounting and in parallel accounting you can find over here define accounting principles. So we will be executing this step so as to define the accounting principles in the system. So you can see there are number of accounting principles already on your screen. Now to define your own accounting principle you have to first move over here and you have to define it to, on the screen. So suppose I need an accounting principles to be defined. So I would be taking USGP. You can take it as US gap or even if you don't want to create is very simple you need to take a four digit over here and you can put the description or else you can use the same accounting principles which are already there. There are a couple of accounting principles already created. So suppose I would be taking the local gap 01 for my company code. So I am not creating right now but you can create simply by going through the new entries in case you want and you can go to this new entries over here and you can define your, your code over here for the account principle that would be a four digit code and then you can define your description on the screen. So that is what you can do right now I would be taking the uh, 01 as a local gap to be my accounting principle for the company code 1200. So now moving back to the screen we are done with this you can save the screen over here. So once it will be saved if there is any changes will be saved to the request number. So we are done with the accounting principles. Now we'll be moving to the next that is assignment of accounting principles to the ledger group. So you must have to assign your accounting principle to the ledger group. I hope you must be knowing what is a ledger group if you have uh, done the general ledger accounting and all. So ledger group is basically a group in through which all the accounting entries are processed. If you want to see I can show you over here the ledger groups. So you can see over here on the screen this is the ledger group. I would not be creating any but I am just showing it to you. So ledger groups basically are of two types. One is termed as leading ledger and another is termed as non-leading ledger. A leading ledger is a must for every company code. By default it is a must by the SAP system. So this OL which you are seeing over here on the screen is a mandatory part. You have to use it whatever the transactions you do in a company code are goes and are saved with this particular leading ledger part. That's why whenever you would be executing many of the reports you have to select the leading ledger as 0L on the screen. So this is the leading ledger on the system uh, in front of you on the system. Apart from this whatever has been created below in for you like these all these all are part of non-leading ledger. So non-leader non-leading ledger are created for reporting other than the different accounting principles. So the one which we will be using is 0L. So moving back now we were been to our own steps that is assigning accounting principles to ledger group. So we'll be moving to over here the next step assigning the accounting principle to the ledger groups. We need to execute this step. So once you execute you would be seeing that the 01 accounting principle is already defined with the leading ledger as 0L 
else it was not been defined in that case you had to assign this ol to your accounting principal so that is it in this we just make the assignment of accounting principal to the leading ledger so once this has been done this configuration steps is has been completed so now we can move on to the next configuration step so moving to the next step assign valuation area and the accounting principles so moving for the assignment in this we will be assigning the valuation area which we have defined earlier to the accounting principles as a relation so as to have a proper reporting so to do that uh, we need to go to the path so the path now would be we need to go to the general ledger accounting and then again to the periodic processing and in that evaluate and in evaluate we need to go to assign valuation areas and accounting principles so the path is simple first we went to the financial accounting new then to general ledger accounting new and add the periodic processing then valuation and in valuation assign valuation areas and accounting principle so we need to execute this step here and once we have executed we can see on the screen there are number of different financial area financial areas on the screen which has been defined so to define our own assignment relationship with the accounting principle we need to go to new entries and in this we need to search our own valuation area first so the valuation area which we defined was zz we can double click and select it and then we'll be moving to the accounting principles you can click on to have the list of all the different accounting principles so the accounting principles which we will be having is 01 that is the local gap so this is what you need to do you what the the valuation area which we have created in the second step will be taken up over here and will be assigned to the accounting principles then only you will be able to get the reporting as per the accounting principles for foreign exchange valuations so once we have assigned these to each other now we can move and we can save the screen so once saved the assignment has been done so it was pretty simple steps we we'll move to the path so moving to the next configuration the step now is to create the gl master records so now we'll be moving to assign the gl for loss or gain of foreign currency to the automatic assignment so for that we need to assign the gl account in this case so the gl account which we'll be creating will be creating so as to record the profit and loss incurred through the exchange rate and that will be assigned later on as an auto posting so that the system will automatically pick up the accounts so with a view to consider the exchange rate fluctuations we have to define the accounts for exchange rate differences account and make the automatic determination accounts for exchange rate differences so in this particular step we need to create two gl account one is gain on sale of sorry gain on foreign currency account under the head of income and second is loss on foreign currency account under the head expenses so to create these two accounts we need to go to the we may move to the a new session on the system and then we can execute the transaction so as to create the new gl so the transaction is fs00 enter now we need a gl for revenue so we need a income gl so the income gl starts with 3 so we can move up and have a list of all the gl account where we can check what is the last digit in the income part which has been used so the very next we can use it for creating the gain on foreign currency or foreign exchange so the gl account you can see over here is starting with 3 and the last digit is 300004 so we can take the next digit as 
for the income part for the gain on foreign exchange so we need to select the account group that is income then we need to select the profit and loss statement account now here we need to give a short name gain on foreign exchange and below we can write the full detail on that gain on foreign exchange rate account and we can move to the second part control data so in control data we need to select the line item display only and next we can move up to the create bank interest and moving on to this we need to select the field status group for revenue so the revenue g accounts will be g00 sorry g029 so it is what we have selected over here on the screen so this is what you need to take you just need to create an income gl so the income is has to be taken the description has been filled in the control data we just have assigned the line item display and then we move to the third tab create bank and interest and in that the filled status group has to be g029 that is revenue accounts now we can save the screen so the gl account continue the gl account has been created for gain on exchange rate foreign exchange rates now moving to the next is we need to create a gl for loss on foreign exchange rate so for that we need a number starting with a four series so again we need to go for the list of gl account so we can click on to it enter so in that we can see on the below side the last number in the four series is 8 so we can use the next number as 9 and we can go to create and click on it so once clicked the options opens up for you so as to fill the details so this is an expense so will be selected an expense profit and loss account will be selected then here it will be loss on foreign exchange the full form can be written on below part so that has been taken moving to the control account control data we need to select the line item display then moving to the next create bank and interest in this the field distributors group will be z004 that is cost accounts so it is what been selected and now we can save this screen continue and the gl account has been created so these are the two gls which we have to create and now we have created the gl account so we can move to the next step that is prepare automatic posting for foreign currency values so in this we will be assigning the gl so as to make it automatic posting and the system will automatically determine the foreign currency fluctuations and accordingly the system will decide that whether there is a loss or gain on for an exchange valuation and the gl will be automatically assigned and will be taken up by the system so as to determine whether there is a profit or loss on foreign exchange rates so in this we will be assigning the gl now so for assignment we need to go to the path that is evaluate foreign currency valuation so we need to go to the spro enter then click on sap reference img we need to go to the financial accounting new in that we need to go to general ledger accounting 
then we'll be moving to the periodic processing then we'll be moving to the valuate and in valuate you can see foreign currency valuation so in this you can see the first step that is prepare automatic posting for foreign currency valuation so the path is first we need to go to financial accounting new then the general ledger accounting new and then the periodic processing and then valuate and then foreign currency valuation and now prepare automatic postings for foreign currency valuation so we can execute this now so once we execute you can see number of different transactions are there in your screen there are number of transactions so the transactions which we need to use are limited so the transaction which we would be using now is KDB and KDF so the most important is the KDF so as to for the valuation of uh, foreign gain or loss so we'll be moving to the next we need to double click on to the KDF so when we double click on KDF it will ask you the chart of accounts so the chart of account is 1000 assigned and we can now continue with this green tick mark and once we continue there are certain GL which are already been assigned in the system which can be seen but we will not be taking this we will be changing these these GL on the screen or what we can do is we can create a new entry as well so let's better create a new entry so we have taken a new entry now and we will first select a GL account so the GL account has to be taken first so this GL account basically refers to the reconciliation account and here we need to take the reconciliation account related to the vendor with which the foreign exchange transactions are done so if there are number of reconciliation account so that much of new entries has to be created and accordingly the GL account has to be assigned to them so we'll be first selecting the GL account now continue let have the list of all the GL account now in this we can search for our own GL account that is domestic vendor account so we can double click and select the domestic vendor account on the screen then we can move up to the next that is the currency so in the currency we will be defining the currency now so the currency will be you can select the currency or you can even leave the currency as blank as this is not a mandatory part because we need to evaluate so accordingly the system can take off its own so now in the loss part on the next we need to take loss on foreign exchange rate GL has to be taken so this is the last one which we have just created so it is what we have assigned to it and on the gain we will be assigning the foreign exchange gain GL so again we need to search the gain the revenue GL in that which we just have created a while back so the gain on foreign exchange rate account is there which has been taken the same GL can be assigned below for valuation loss 1, valuation gain 1 as well if we wish to. So you can select the GL and you can assign the same GL on the, on the below part. And again in the loss, loss GL and in the gain gain GL has been assigned so once we have assigned this GL now we'll be moving to the next and we can save this screen here so once we save this screen now this particular reconciliation account which we have just seen this has been assigned with this loss on foreign exchange and gain on foreign exchange automatic GL assignment so we have done the GL assignment on the system now 
this is how you need to do this is uh, the automatic assignment of GL so once this is done we can move back so that is what we have defined with now we can move with the next transaction so moving up to the next is the unit testing so these were the basic configuration steps for foreign exchange revaluation which we have just done with so these are all the configuration steps we have just completed now we'll be doing the unit testing where we'll be looking after how the foreign exchange valuation is done at the month end so mind it this is always done at the month end activity but just an overview I will, we will be executing it right now so for executing this part we need to select this transaction code on your screen a slight lengthy one but that is the transaction code which is used for foreign exchange valuation in the system so let's execute this foreign exchange valuation now so we'll be executing this now enter so over here we need to put the company code first that is 1200 now we'll be taking the date on which we will be executing the foreign currency valuation so suppose I am taking it as 31st of October 2014 the next thing we have to do is we need to select certain parameters so we took the company code and the value key date now we'll be moving to the open items okay no account principal assigned to the valuation area has been the error so let's check this particular problem we have already did this this was the step this was it assign valuation area and the accounting principles so let's check back this step because this is what the error the system is giving slash in SPRO enter IMG screen then we need to go to financial accounting new general ledger accounting new and in general ledger accounting periodic processing then evaluate and in evaluate this is the screen over here assign values in areas and the accounting principles so this is how where we have assigned the accounting principle 01 with the values in area so probably it asks us for assigning more of those so let's take the new entries and assign one more accounting principles to it let's process the foreign exchange valuation again we need to take the company code then we need to take the valuation key date that is 31st of October and now we need to take the valuation area on over here which we have missed out so the valuation area will be ZZ which we have created now we can move up to the next that is open items and in open items we need to select the vendor part this for which we will be executing the valuation for foreign exchange so now we would be selecting the vendor from the list of the vendors so the vendor which we need to take is 4000001 now the similar way you can do it for if you want to evaluate for GL you can select GL if you want to evaluate for customer even you can select the customer if you want to evaluate the foreign exchange for all the vendors you can select the vendors so it's up to you how you want to process the foreign exchange valuation but you need to take care that no GR IR account has to be taken in that 
So you need to select the GL, you need to select the values in vendor open item, then the customer open items, and then once you have done this, we can execute this report for the results. So once we execute this report now, here, you can see number of records are there which has been reflected on the screen and there are different currencies been involved INR, JPY that is Japanese currencies, there is Euro, there is even INR again. So there are number of different transactions which have been captured on your screen and you can even go to this uh, posting option over here which says that four documents are there which can be posted for foreign exchange revaluation. So this is how you would be doing it. Right now we cannot post it because this is not a month end activity but else we could have posted. So if you click onto this posting it will show you the number of different posting on the screen as you can see the adjustments are been done which will be posted to the ledger account. So once the FC is done it gets reversed in the in the next month. So you can see on the 31st of October if it will be we will be doing the foreign exchange valuation on very first of the next month it get reversed because maybe the values which are there can get corrected in the very next month. So that is why these are the adjustments which have been done. So to create the valuation document we need to go to create posting and that is what we did and then we move to this particular screen and if you execute without creating the posting tick this means that the program is run in the test mode. So this is how you would be doing it. You can see this screen that is it. Once this has been done then a batch has been created and you need to go and to execute this batch that batch and once the batch has been processed your foreign exchange valuation will be done on the system. So this is how you will be doing your foreign exchange valuation. That is it. That's what we are done with the foreign exchange valuation part. And you can process the same thing again at your system. Configure it, do it, try and it's an interesting part. So practice it. We'll see you in the next training session with a new topic. Since then, thank you.